in terms of the moral imperative that I thought uh, drove us to resist what were clearly nefarious deals not in the best interests of the people of this country. Start off with BTL. We all know the history of that. We all know the history of the accommodation agreement. We know that particular saga. We know how when BTL was first uh, privatized, uh, Mr. Esquivel, the Right Honorable Sir Manuel Esquivel, put in place all sorts of safeguards that were just completely violated uh, so that the People's United Party administration could turn over uh, the National Telephone Company uh, to, to, to the Ashcroft concern. Uh, fighting to get it back was something that was absolutely necessary. Uh, I would f have felt that I was not being true to, to the oath I swore uh, if I did not pursue that. You want to talk again now about the registry? Well, we must wait and see, first of all, what uh, the uh, damages assessment will be. But again, we're getting something for this, you know. We're getting a registry that he basically and his people were controlling that, in my view, ought properly, as well as BTL, to belong to the people of this country. We're making money off the registry. So in, over the long haul, these things will more than, it's like you, you build a house, you, 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 you borrow money, there, there are mortgage payments, uh, and, and initially, uh, when you're servicing your loan, uh, it, it is a fact, and it is something you have to deal with, but at the end of the day, you own it. That investment by way of the borrowing that you did will more than pay for itself. And so that is the case not just with BTL, but with the ship's registry.